Hey everybody, good morning. It's Monday, April the 13th. Uh, it's funny, I feel like being really quiet just because it's early morning. Um, get to watch the sunrise here in Saginaw. Uh, work has been super busy. I have not had time to do a video and honestly when I have had time all I've wanted to do is to sleep. Um, some of you friends of mine out there know I'm uh, running crazy. I'm doing, uh, I started doing 24s and uh, my buddy Tim, you know that uh, that takes a lot out of you. He also does 24s. So, And there's a few others. Amy does. and There's actually a bunch at work that do it. I'm not special, that's for sure. But uh, I'm just new to it. I'm not used to doing 24s. I was doing 18s for a while. That was enough. But now 24s or something else. Um, anyway, chickens are huge. They're starting to get their combs. This morning as I was getting uh, my coat and stuff from the from my changing area, my staging area in the garage, keeping that coronavirus outside, um, I heard one of them uh, cluck for the first time. They've been peeping, but today I heard a cluck. So they're getting, getting a lot bigger. Chicken pen is about half done, and honestly, I haven't even videotaped any of it, but I will try to the next time I get out there. Having a great day. I hope you guys are good. Just a quick update. Um, sorry that I I haven't posted anything in a long time, but uh, man, I've got a lot to tell you too. I fell asleep at, because I'd been working so much. I fell asleep. I burned the sugar. The sugar turned into ashes. So that's done. I do have it on video, a little bit of it anyway, but uh, that's just the way it goes. So I'll try to put up some stuff here at the end of this video and just some little updates that I've recorded little bits here and there over the last couple of weeks. So, thanks. Hey everybody, it's uh, April 2nd, 4-2. So I'm just kind of looking around the old uh, shed here. It ain't pretty, but it's done. I finally finished uh, putting up the last of the metal. I had one last little piece to do and I just got so busy at work. Today, a day off. Wow, it's really nice actually. Um, I've already got a bunch done. So let me just show you real quick the finished shed. Okay, there it is. Looks a little crooked. It's not. <laughs> it's just the way I'm holding the camera. Uh, so anyway, here's the uh, the final product. I don't know. I'm to trip over some metal here. Back up even a little further. There we go. Now I do still have some trim to put on and whatnot, but hey, that's no big deal. It is what I would call weather tight. At least no possums are crawling up in there. Not today, anyway. You see the windows are all up and good. Uh, the inside's all braced. Everything is beautiful. So, all right. Put some. I got some screen to put up on some vents, and uh, yeah. Well, the shed is good enough to. Uh, Good enough to keep stuff dry in, so here we go. All right, so here we are. It's beginning in the, uh, it's that time. Start building chicken coop. So uh, since only six lived out of 10, I'm only building a four by six coop. And since I did not have a full sheet, I decided to just cobble a couple together because I'm cheap. I prefer the term thrifty, but cheap works. So, uh, yeah, I'm just putting three cross members on the bottom, and then it's going to go on a couple of uh, treated skids, and then the walls will be uh, two by twos, built basically just like a little house. So this is the floor. It's the start of the floor anyway. I'll show you more in a bit. Well, the chicks are getting a lot bigger, no doubt about that. They're still enjoying their heat lamp. Six Isa brown chicks starting to get their feathers in real nice. Um, pretty exciting, eh? Hey, everybody, it's the 5th of April. Um, gosh, here we are. It's another beautiful spring day. Uh, the work at, for the last few days was crazy busy, and uh, things slowed down here today. I had enough time to get out here and play a little bit, clean up the chickens, and um. Just take care of some stuff but I have some bad news so in the process of boiling sap 
I fell asleep. And with almost all of my syrup ready to go to the finishing stage, it fried. So sap is done for the year. I scrubbed it out and tried to make it as best I could, but it's over. Um, I was very disappointed in myself, but I uh, will just have to try it again next year. Who who to plan? Who could plan for COVID nineteen really? Um, and me being exhausted from running eighteen twenty four hour eighteen to twenty four hour days. So um, I. It's going to get worse. I'm thankful for this little tiny reprieve today because I'm sure it's going to get worse. Um, yesterday, I was at a place where they've been hit very hard with COVID down but near Detroit. And uh, it's bad. I won't lie to anybody. Um, don't be scared. Just wash your hands and don't touch your face. Um, be aware. So, okay. I will, uh, I'll catch up to you guys in a minute. Uh oh, my camera's being silly. Boom. Hey, good morning, everybody. Wee. Go around that corner. Uh, okay, so I am on my way to work. It is a beautiful, beautiful Monday morning. Um, gosh, I already forgot what the date is. I think it's the 6th. Yeah, I think it's April 6th. So, um, it's funny how you lose track of days when you just start going and going. The only reason I'm getting on right now to talk is, uh, one, I've been making a couple little short videos and I wanted to string them all together for you. Uh, I was thinking, you know, my YouTube friends are probably wondering, what kind of a whack job is this guy making these silly little videos? And I thought, you know, I guess I'm not really doing this for, uh, for, for much other than just kind of having fun. Um, I am so sorry, I am like flying down this road because I am hauling to work. Uh, but I just saw a bunch of turkeys and I, I didn't video them because I was going past them at 70 miles an hour on a dirt road and I thought, well, I better not. Oh, I mean 55, sorry officer. 55 miles an hour on a dirt road. So, man, there was a monster Tom out there and I'm looking for more because I see them all the time. He had a beard. He was he was all puffed out, strutting like crazy, and his beard was dragging on the ground. And he was about 50 yards off the road, and he had about six or seven hens with him. And then there were two or three little jakes walking around, maybe 20 yards away, like they knew who the boss was. So anyway, I was thinking about Wyatt, especially, buddy. Man, I wish you'd have seen that, Bell. That was an amazing sight. That was by far the nicest Tom I've ever seen in my life. Um, man, I'm looking forward to doing some turkey hunting. I heard this morning that they may cancel hunting in Michigan. I, I don't believe that could happen, but man, this is a crazy climate we're in. All right, well, anyway, so I'm glad that you guys are still sticking with me, my my friends out there and my faithful followers as it were um i'm so slow in responding to some of your messages just because i've been working so much uh, stay safe wash your hands don't touch your face if you go out wear a mask not only for your protection but just in case you have something that you don't even know you have the symptoms yet make sure that you're wearing a mask as well to protect other people this thing is very real. Um, I'm not looking to scare people because that's not the kind of person I am, but just be aware. That's what you need to do is be aware and uh, take proper precautions. Proper prior preparation prevents premature. I don't know, what, what is a, a, mor a mortuary term that starts with a P? Expiration. I don't know. So anyway, okay, I'll talk to you guys later. That's Dai right there. Hi, Dai. Don't hide, you silly chicken. There you go. There's Dai. Oh. I'm eating. 
even right there. Just a quick milk baby. See the back? Has the back little stripes on her back? That's easy. Don't run away, Eden. Say hi, Eden. Say hi, Eden. So this isn't something you see every day in the bright sunshine. Oops, I lost a little guy. Where'd he go? There he is. It looks injured or something. I don't know. Maybe just dirty. Oh, yeah, he's got a broken leg. Poor little guy.